Did Omar and his people threaten Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her? In the book of Al-Musannaf by Ibn Abi Shayba, it was reported by Muhammad son of Bishr, from Ubaidullah son of Omar, from Zayd son of Aslam, from Aslam, that... Now I'm going to be reading the report afterwards. I will be verifying the authenticity of the report. After the demise of the Holy Prophet, when the people had paid fealty to him, Ali and Zubair used to go to Fatima al-Zahra, daughter of the Prophet, for consultation. When this fact was known to Umar, he went to Fatima and said, O daughter of the Prophet, I didn't love anyone as much as I loved your father, nor anyone after him is more loving to me as you are. But I swear by Allah that if these people assemble here with you, then this love of mine would not prevent me from setting your house on fire. Reference Ibn Abi Shayba, Book of Al-Mughazi, what is reported concerning the Khilafah of Abu Bakr and his biography, Volume 8, page 571. Now the first narrator of this report, Muhammad son of Bishr, Ibn Hajar, said that he is trustworthy. Ubaidullah son of Umar, Ibn Hajar, said that he is one of the seven jurists. Nisa'i said that he is trustworthy. Also Abu Hatim, Ibn Sa'd, Ahmed son of Salih, Ibn Ma'in. Zayd son of Aslam, Ibn Hajar, said that he is a trustworthy scholar. Now the father of Zayd, son of Aslam, who is Aslam, Ibn Hajar said that he is trustworthy. So this tells us that this report that is in a Sunni book is an authentic report because each and every one of the narrators of the report are all trustworthy. So it makes it an authentic report. So did Omar and his people threaten Fatima to Zahra? The answer is yes, they did. And this is not from a Shia book. This is from a Sunni book.